Hi, this is Ahmed with you from Mudir. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. In this video, we are going to continue creating the receipt. We are going to take an example of these options. We need the description. We need more information about the payment itself, the quantity, and the unit price for that. You can see that the quantity is here. For example, we're going to put 10 and the unit price is 15, which will gonna give us a total of 150. If there's any discount, tick on this box and the option we're gonna show us is either percentage or exact amount. If there's any discount we give to the customer, we should apply this option. For example, here we've got an exact amount of 10. So we're gonna put it in the discount field. And the total has decreased by 10, which is 140 now. And this option is going to show us if the amounts are tax inclusive. This applies mostly when you are using the tax paid amount. Then the fixed total, the fixed total is the option that we better add if we've got more than one payment, just to check if the amount has been paid in full or it will gonna help us in discovering any wrong amounts or mistakes if it happens. The custom theme, if we have theme and the custom title, if we've got title, and if you want to show the tax amount column, we're going to tick this box. If there's any footers here, you can add it. Scroll down, click on create. Now we've got this receipt to the customer. You can edit it or clone it means to make another copy of that and edit it. You've got the option of copy to and you've got the option of print. And that's how we can record a receipt in Manager. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And before we're saying goodbye, we're pleased to announce that we are now officially the resellers of Manager Cloud. You can have a free trail of Manager Cloud through the link in the description below. This is Ahmed with you from Mudir. Thanks for tuning in. Have a nice and productive day.